Hi, today I'm looking into an upcoming tactical third-person shooter called Veiled Experts. The gameplay you're watching is from the final beta that closed quite recently, since the game is now about to be launched in early access in May this year. We don't have a specific date yet. The game will be free to play on Steam and is developed by Nexon Games and published by Nexon. And for now at least, it's planned to be released only on PC. We'll see more about that maybe later during this year. In this video, I'm playing two game modes, Team Deathmatch with a twist and also a bit more advanced version, you might say, of a search and destroy game mode, where each round starts with you buying your weapons and gadgets from a buy menu, kind of a system similar to other shooters in the same genre. There is a magnetic field that is closing in during the matches alongside with some tactical items and the agent's abilities which is an attempt to both make it harder for people to camp or stay too long in a spot you might say and also to turn up the heat in the matches by forcing players to get closer to each other almost as if you were playing a battle royale game. Nexon has also tried to create a variety of agent classes in order to give you as a player the possibility to find one that suits your playstyle the best. There there will also be some environmental changes since buildings can collapse or a ship can go down for example as the bomb goes off, which will change the map to a certain extent between rounds. But how does it feel and play? Well personally I am a bit tired of FPS games with tactical abilities at the moment at least. I was hoping for a more clean or and straightforward approach when being a tactical shooter and even though the magnetic field closing in is partly an attempt to stop people from camping, it does prevent certain strategies being in play from an attacking team for example when you all of a sudden have to relate to the diminishing area where you can play the game. Feels more of a battle royale approach than something that belongs in a tactical round based shooter but who knows people might get used to this as well and enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I've played quite a few third person shooters over the years and usually I don't think so much about how it would feel if the game would be played in first person view instead. But to be honest in this game, again being the tactical shooter it is, I do sometimes think that it might be a better option to actually play it in first person mode. As you may know, there are some games that offers the players to choose if you want to play third or first person, but on the other hand, I'm glad in this case that it's not happening here or it's not an option. Why? Because it can usually tilt the balance a bit, especially since third person mode gives you a chance to see around corners, if that makes sense, using that kind of perspective. And that is a great advantage in a tactical shooter. But besides game modes, agents and abilities, how does it play? Well, to be honest, I felt that the gunplay was a bit inconsistent from time to time. It could differ during the actual match being played or even between matches. Not sure what that is related to, if it's a hit detection or an latency issue, but it was definitely there. I hope that whatever it is, that Nexon is able to make that experience even better, since we all know how frustrating it can be if the gunplay isn't consequent and crisp. Thumbs up though for a pretty clean and easy to use UI. There's been a lot of overcomplicated UIs in recent games and years. Modern Warfare 2, just to mention one, that are like over designed and not that practical. But the Veiled Experts UI does its job pretty well. Does Veiled Experts bring something new to the table? Well, not really, even though the marketing and some articles that I've read wants you to believe that it gives a unique take on a tactical shooter. But that's not really the case. As with most games nowadays, you can derivate certain aspects of a game to already existing shooters. However, Nexon is trying to combine things in an order that can give a bit of a partly fresh experience. And that kind of attempt I salute. So the next question is also how this game will be received and also how it will stand the test of time compared to other titles out there since the competition is quite hard. As usually many factors comes into play and one of them is of course what kind of progression system we'll see in the game giving the players an incentive to come back and play the game even more. Alongside with that, there needs to be a well thought roadmap that would encourage players to stick with the game for a longer period of time. And then we also have the unfortunately quite common problems when it comes to cheaters, especially when it comes to a free to play title like this. I guess though that Nixon are well aware of this since they have launched quite a few games before. 
So let me know, what are your thoughts here? Does Veiled Experts look like a game that will be able to establish a community and do well for a longer period of time? Or is it just another game that gets some attention for a few months before people move on in order to play another game? Let me know your thoughts. It's always hard to make a comparison with another title or game in order to give you a clue what Veiled Experts feels like. Sometimes I do that, but this time around I don't think I will. Especially since I've seen some guys saying that it looks or might feel like Rogue Company. Which is another free to play third person shooter or somewhat tactical shooter for that sake as well. But since I've played Rogue Company, I can at least say that it doesn't feel like that game. I will most likely look into Veiled Experts again soon when it goes into early access sometime in May as mentioned before. Because I'm curious to see how it will play then and what people also will say about the game. People like you and me that wants to play and try out a new game. So I think that's it for today. I'm not going much more into detail regarding Veiled Experts. If you want to read or check out more of this information on their website and of course also if you want to wishlist it on Steam, be ready for the uh, early access launch, you can do that. Because the purpose was mainly now today to highlight a new and upcoming shooter and to share my first in impressions now that I've played the final beta. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you're new around here and you want to watch some more FPS content, then make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out when I'm posting a new video. With that said, have a great day my friends and we'll talk soon again. Later. I have to concentrate on this. Please secure the area. The seed has been planted. Secure the area. The seed will blow up soon. Uh-oh. Tracking assistance will be over soon. Hurry up. Take a break.